Welcome back! Today I have three ESL games for you. These are all drill games. Take a look at the first game. It's called the emotional drill or the emoji drill. Just you know, look through your, the emojis on your phone, pick a couple and like put some voices to them. Like you can have angry or sad. So this is the emoji drill or the emotional drill. You know, just look through your phone, have a look at the emojis in there and just pick pick a couple of emojis to do it to speak with the class and they have a lot of fun doing all the different voices the second game this can be used as a free of practice game or a controlled practice drill game whatever you prefer what's happening in this game so with your dice you've just got like you know one two three four five and six and instead of one being one two being two you mix it up a little bit so one can be times two, uh, two can be minus five, three can be a bomb, four can be change points, five can be plus ten, and six can just be like roll the dice again. And if they get like each number has a word assigned to it or a sentence assi assigned to it that you're trying to drill, and if they roll a four, then they, whatever word is assigned to number four, they have to say it like, you know, four times. Really fun game that can be played with young kids and older kids. Everyone can enjoy this game. The third game, the third game I'm gonna show you guys. This one is definitely for older students. I played it with my grade three and they can play it, but I wouldn't play it younger than that. This is definitely for grade three and above. So this is a disappearing sentence game. So the words you want to drill, the words you know they're gonna struggle with, these words don't disappear. These words stay on the screen. And the, the words you know they can pronounce very well make them disappear and they've gotta remember the sentence. They're remembering the easy words. Those aren't the words that you need to worry about. Like, uh, and then they'll come to the more complicated words and then they'll say them and uh, once they've done playing that game where they've read the sentences, if they've remembered it all correctly, remembering it isn't that important. It's more about how they pronounce, pronounce the keywords. Get some other kids up and then make more words disappear. They sit down, bring up more kids and eventually everything will disappear. That's the, the only time you'll make the keywords that you're teaching disappear. I hope these games help you in the classroom. If they do, let me know down in the comments below. If you haven't checked out my other game videos, I'm going to link them in the description below as well. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you all next month.